My dear elegant ladies, welcome back to another video. Today I want to share with you some instant elegant hacks anybody could do regardless of budget that will definitely elevate your look and make you look more sophisticated. Instant glamour and anybody could do this. It's very easy. All you do, just put on a hat. Well, okay, maybe this hat was not the best example. Oh, I got it right. So, what do you think? Am I a little bit more glamorous now? Okay, quite frankly, this hat is not the best example and not for this outfit. But this was the only thing I had with me today, so we have to use the props we have around us today. But at least you get the concept. A hat really does add instantly elegance to a woman. It is a little bit more old school, a little bit more kind of 1920s sophistication style. The whole purpose is that women these days, they don't wear hats as much as they used to, which is why whenever we see a lady wearing a hat, she comes across more elegant instantly. Okay, let's take this thing off. Number two pointy and very sleek shoes that you wear under a pair of very long and nice trousers that kind of covers them. Okay, that was a very long introduction. Ladies, a pair of high heels, but sharp pointy ones. Maybe black or maybe in another color, but they should be matching your trousers. And what you do is that you wear a long trouser that kind of covers them, but then only the pointy part is showing. So this is such a good hack if you want to elongate yourself, if you want to appear taller and kind of have a longer looking body. The sharpness and the pointiness of the shoe helps with that elongation, but also the heel and also when you're wearing a trouser that kind of covers um, everything and gives you that whole silhouette, you just look like you have a model long legs and it looks really good. Of course, if you are already on the taller side and the last thing you want to do is to appear even taller, then just skip this step. But I can tell you, ladies, if you do apply this, you will feel a little bit like a goddess walking around because you will feel like you are this model on a catwalk with this really long legs and you will feel just really good about yourself. Number three, boat neck. Although I'm not really wearing a boat neck. I'm wearing a v-neck, but it's almost like a borderline boat neck actually. Well, not really because boat necks, they never go really down. Boat necks really go round. They're very rounded. And before I continue talking about boat neck, anybody who is an inverted triangle should avoid wearing boat necks because oftentimes your shoulders is the widest part of your body already and you will just make your shoulders appear even wider if you are a boat neck. So skip this step. But for the rest of my ladies, I can tell you that the boat neck, it is such an elegant cut of a dress or a top. It really is very classic, so it's also very timeless. You can think a little bit about Hollywood old school glamour when you see a lady wear a boat neck. But what I really like about the boat neck is that it really adds the femininity without having to show off the usual cleavage and um, going that direction. Because actually men love the boat neck a lot, I've noticed. They see the collarbones, it kind of adds a little bit of a different sex appeal to an outfit. So if you are a lady who are very conservative, yet you want to appear more feminine, the boat neck is definitely then a good option. Before I continue, ladies, I have created a cheat sheet for all my elegant ladies who want to dress themselves on the budget yet appear more expensive looking. ClassyCheatSheet.com is where you will download this free cheat sheet. I have really gathered some of my best tips and tricks that I actually don't even mention in this video. So make sure you go to ClassyCheatSheet.com and get your cheat sheet. Number four, ladies, and this is one of my favorite fabrics or materials. So I know you've already heard me talking about this in previous videos, but ladies, the cashmere. I mean, of course you are going to be looking more elegant and expensive when you are wearing a cashmere top or a beautiful cashmere scarf. It's just something about that material. It just looks very delicate. And everything that looks more delicate, looks more sophisticated, it looks more affluent and us high quality ladies, that's what we like. So 
Cashmere is definitely a material that is worth investing in because it will elevate your look. Skip the boring cotton tops, wear cashmere instead. And if it's spring summer, you can always find some thin cashmere blends, short sleeve that you can still wear without having to sweat too much. Number five, and this one I haven't really spoken about then to my students in my elite finishing school, School of Affluence. Join us if you also want to start your transformational journey. But ladies, I'm talking about the classic piece every lady should have in their wardrobe. I'm talking about the high heeled leather boots. However, it has to be a bit of a thinner heel. It has to be more for outings rather than to run around and do your errands in a type of boot. You know, this is a boot that will require you to take taxi or drive. It's um, not really a shoe for long distance walking, but it is a boot that is so attractive and men love it because it's very sexy. As you know, I advocate for feminine style. And actually, if you are already very elegantly dressed and you add something that has a little bit of sex appeal to it, you will add this kind of perfect little spice that you need sometimes in your recipe to make everything just like blend perfectly well together. A woman, however, who is already a little bit more on the provocative side, somebody who maybe dresses very provocatively or, or have this natural provocative energy, might want to reconsider this kind of provocative boot because it might just add too much spice to her recipe. But for all of us other ladies, definitely invest in a pair because this type of boot, it is something that is a very timeless piece, especially if you buy it in black, especially if you buy it without any embellishments or decorations. It will last you for year after year after year. So you can really make sure to spend on this boot because actually a nice designer leather high heeled boot like Louboutin or Jimmy Shoe might look really, really good and can actually truly transform an outfit instantly. Then you can wear your, let's say H&M trousers underneath and some basic top and you will still look really glamorous. Number six. We have the scarf ladies. So I haven't really spoken too much about scarves in my videos, but of course the scarf is a very important staple piece in most women's wardrobes, especially if you want to be elegant and you want to look expensive. I suggest we do a scarf tying episode in another video, but I just want you to understand the concept. When you just add something to yourself, you instantly look a little bit more sophisticated. Surely I might look a little bit like a cabin crew lady right now, but you understand what I mean. When you add these little details, you can create a lot of interesting things with your outfit. That's one. And number two, you just add a little bit more sophistication to it because scarves are truly a resemblance of a very elegant woman. All elegant women wear scarves. So I really think it's important to invest in one and especially invest in multiple colors. Because scarves are used in a way when you're matching them with outfits that you have depending on color and you maybe sometimes want to accentuate on certain colors or bring out certain colors. It's truly a perfect way of accessorizing. So make sure you get a scarf. If you can afford, do invest in Hermes scarves because they're truly one of the top ones. I personally like Emilio Pucci a lot. They have a lot of interesting patterns and colors. So that's my little tip for you today. Ladies, we have reached the last point and it's number seven. A very important hack to really think about is to really invest and upgrade all your casual clothes. This may include outerwear, sneakers, uh, trousers you wear on a daily basis, tops you're wearing on a daily basis, maybe even weekend wear. If you are a woman, you are in corporate clothes the entire week and then during the weekend you go more casual, then your weekend clothes you really want to invest in. And ladies, I'm not necessarily talking about the clothes you wear at your home, which of course, feel free to upgrade them as well because that's also important. But I'm really talking about the more casual clothes you would wear when you are out running errands, you're doing maybe some more everyday things in them, or maybe you go into your countryside just with your family, relaxing, and you, you're wearing something much more relaxed. And what happens when we are wearing much more relaxed clothes is that that usually downgrades our appearance immediately. We end up looking scruffy, less feminine, less sophisticated, and we end up looking extremely basic. 
For instance, a puffer jacket does not have to be some really boring and basic puffer jacket that looks like it was bought for $50, you know? Instead, you can have a more sophisticated puffer jacket. Let's say you invest in a Max Mara one. Why not? A puffer jacket, as an example, is something you will be wearing for many years. It's something you will probably be wearing quite a lot as well. So think about the return on the financial investment you make there. Spending a little bit extra on like a puffer jacket from Maxmara, it's going to really elevate you. Comparison if you just buy a puffer jacket from H&M, that's not going to do you any favors whatsoever. So that was just an example. I could give you much more examples, but I want you to understand that the whole principle is to the clothes you wear the most, you should invest in the most financially. Oh yes, because when you also invest more in those clothes financially, ladies, these clothes, they tend to look a little bit more expensive than if you are cutting corners and going for the cheapest possible H&M stuff. Quality can be seen. People do pick up on these small details and that really what does add elegance, expensiveness to an outfit when you are dressed in finer materials, more high quality materials, and the clothes simply fit you better. And as a last point on this subject, whenever you are being more casual and all of those things, just make sure you make a little bit more effort with your outfit, but also your grooming. Grooming cannot be forgotten, ladies. It's an instant elegant hack too, because with a perfectly blow dry hair, any outfit containing jeans will look good on a woman. And you know I'm not a big jeans girl. So make an effort. It's really not that difficult. Now ladies, make sure to watch my video 10 ways to look expensive on a budget because I do go more in depth on this subject and you want to also learn a few more tips and tricks that I have waiting for you in that video. I will see you there.